The BT Tower must surely be one of the most visible and distinctive landmarks in London. It's 627 feet high and on completion in 1964 was the tallest building in Britain, a record it would hold all the way until 1980. So what if I told you that for the first 29 years of its life it didn't officially exist? Yes, this building, which you can see from almost anywhere in London, was not, as far as the public were concerned, actually there. This must have come as a bit of a shock to those dining in the Tower's revolving restaurant, which was a popular venue until 1980. It all comes down to the Cold War. The function of the Tower, then known as the Post Office Tower, was to hold microwave aerials. The building's height was necessary due to the expansion of London. Previous aerials could be blocked by the new taller buildings that were starting to appear in the 20th century. The tower was an essential part of the nation's communications and therefore, in times of war, it would be of vital importance. Indeed, the communications network that the BT Tower was central to was known by the codename Backbone. Fears for the site's security were not entirely unfounded. In 1971, the militant anarchist collective, the Angry Brigade, detonated a bomb in the men's toilets at the top of the tower. In 1978, the tower, along with a number of other sites in the UK, showed up in the so-called ABC trial, in which three men, journalists Crispin Aubrey, A., and Duncan Campbell, C., and former Signals Corporal John Berry, B., ABC, you see, were tried for leaking official secrets. As it transpired, the information they had was all publicly available anyway, and the prosecution wound up looking very silly indeed. During that trial, the tower was known by the codename Site 23. The trial served to highlight the absurdity of much of the information that the government considered sensitive. The tower may have been an official secret, but there was hardly a person in London who couldn't point it out and direct you to it. It was marked on maps. You could climb up it. It was only in 1993 that MP Kate Hoey spilled the beans and publicly stated, I hope I am protected by parliamentary privilege when I reveal that the British Telecom Tower does exist and its address is 60 Cleveland Street, London. The tower is still in use today, although the Cold War is, of course, long over, and much of the old equipment has been superseded and replaced. These days it even boasts a 360-degree LED display known as the Information Band. And now it's Grade 2 listed. Are Historic England in the pay of the Reds? It's a mystery.